apply a dry maze brush. So that's just catching the edges, presumably. Game will be better on iPad Pro than Apple Pencil. Um, it would be better on PC with a like a Wacom tablet or something, like a proper pen tablet, but having a much larger screen like what you get on PC. But it would it would work on the iPad, yeah. Your pens are much higher res than the Wacom tablets. The graphics in these old school tablets are near redundant. Really? Interesting. Look at that. Spectacular. Right, what's going on here? So it wants that on the teeth a bit, does it? Spiky bits. Why would you want this green here? That's weird. It's like it shows that it wants a, a massive area spraying, but then it doesn't let you make the brush bigger. So you've got this little small brush with which to paint quite a big area. And then because it's small, it looks a bit nasty as well. Don't quite understand that. Hmm. The old chocolate chip has an O level in arts, did um <laughs> actually I do. <laughs> actually do have an O level in arts. Uh, Pizza Bill, thank you for 58 months. This is going on the scale.
and this is going on this bit. Okay. A dragon foot. Rawr. Right, so gold and then white and highlights. That was confusing. Uh, Heyman, thank you for 62 months. Right, let's get that, and then we get that, put that on there like that. Ooh, ooh. And now, what's this bit? this little airbrush it's just not the way it puts paint down is horrible it just puts these like really small circles in it's just like bitty it's not like an airbrush ethan thank you for two years Happy anniversary, sir. No, an airbrush constantly sprays, yeah? What the way this works is it kind of blobs it. It kind of goes blob, 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 like that. End up with these, like, horrible little circles. Quite tricky painting, then.
luminous green bumps. Like, it's just where it's been airbrushed, it looks it just doesn't look good. It just looks like it's slapped on. Yeah, the thing is imp is it's like on the on the setting it wouldn't let me change it to a, like a wide continuous spray is what I'm after. So you can't make it look like you want it. So that's on a hundred percent. The only thing you can change is the opacity. So maybe that's what you have to do. Just bring the opacity right down so you can do a subtle like a highlight through there. A lot more subtle effect, but Gold highlights are pretty cool, they work pretty well. Uh, that's very subtle. 5% opacity. It's a very non-circular. <laughs> that is hard to get right. <laughs> Thank you for 86 months, PC Tech. Soften that edge. I 
I don't like that. <laughs> it, it doesn't look like a pool ball. Maybe the dragon just likes pool balls. I mean, it's starting to come together. <laughs> I still don't like that green stripe up the back. It's awful. It looks a bit better when it gets up here. I should have done it more like that. This just looks tacky. Ooh. Now the fun bit. Red beard. Hang on, we're missing something here. So, blue eyes, a gold body. What's his inner ear? What's all these colours? They are gold as well. Is inside of his ear red? That bit's red, isn't it? So what's in his, what about in his mouth then? Nobody's painting the inside of his mouth. Ah, there we go. We're doing that separately. It's like a darker red. God, can you imagine how hard this would be to do in real life? Right, okay. That's not bad, actually. I'm all right with that. Okay, what's this? Hang on. So it wants red. In the eyes. And then yellow. Blended yellow. So, if we start with, like, yellow here. Something like that. And then yellow tips. I think it wants something like that.
we'll do all that bit that are yellow. Something like that. It's not about its tools. I don't... I, cotton color... I've seen the uh, the shop, and I've seen the kind of colors you can buy, but I don't know to what level this thing goes. I mean, you can just go straight into sandbox mode. This is like the career mode. And then you just do what you like. But I don't know how many kits there are. Like, how complicated the bills get. No idea. What does that look like? A um, bit more. Make it a little bit longer. Is it available in VR? Actually, don't know. It would be kind of cool in VR. Like that, the like the controls as well. You might be able to like manipulate it and spray it. That might be kind of cool. I don't know. Have a look on the Steam thing for it. Wait, what am I spraying here? It's like a green color. You what, missed an ear? What do you mean? Oh yeah. Didn't do that ear, did I? Ahem. <clears throat> 
<clears throat> I'm not really clear where this goes. Interior green on multiple parts. Interior green. I've done the red. I've done the yellow. Are we supposed to be spraying that on the gold body? The top of his neck should be green, but it's already green. I mean, this bit. So we're supposed to spray all that to look like this. Oh, very strange. Why would you spray that? Okay. Right, I've already painted this up, no? Unless it's for the gold. Is this the gold highlight? on there as well you just bought railroads online nice that's a cool effect Is wondering where you could find the extended map. What railroads online extended? Is that what you mean? Just Google it. It's a project on GitHub. Is this a talon? Um sure where it's going to go actually yeah it could be one of the horns probably have to do another one. Oh, what a surprise
I presume when we put the horns on, that's more or less the thing done. Making a dragon. Yeah. Spraying the dragon horn right now. Hey? Do they have horns like this? I don't know, this one does. You'll see it in a sec. I've just got to spray this bit. This is like the last bit. Put that on there like that. If I can zoom out. Come on, game. And then go with that. That's the head we painted. Huh? Yeah, good. And then that goes on uh, somewhere. Made it look like a deer. Made it look like a deer. <laughs> it like a deer. <laughs> it's not quite a deer, is it? But <laughs> and then that's the body we we made. And then that should go on there now. Oh, I see what you're going for. Okay. It's a, it, the paint's a bit tacky in places, but that's not my fault. That's what the game wants. Apple Stan, how you doing? Thank you for 67 months, sir. The dragon's off scale. Is that a pun? I'm not bad, Apple Stanley. Not bad. You still uh, driving driving trucks and plowing snow and that kind of thing? We're done. Uh, change your working team. Is going to drive a drilling rig. Blimey. That sounds exciting. So they've got like a horrible green stripe. I don't like what they've done though, to be honest. Finished project, yes. <laughs> Look at that setting. Achievements unlocked, just six more balls. Apparently. Yay, we get to place it in the trophy case. Can we put it down here somewhere? Let's put it down there. Wait, what? What about the dragon? What, we don't get to place the dragon. I feel slightly robbed. It goes in the other cabinet behind you. Hang on. Oh. It never told me about this one. It literally never told me about that one, but okay. Unless it was about to. Look at this guy's own little camera setup and everything. Let's check Bothell Mail. 
respond to joy. I hope you're enjoying your time in the workshop. It's so well equipped. I'm just jealous. Well, a little bit. I bet you can feel Stan's presence, though. Did you read the note? Yes, I read it. By the way, the prop looks amazing. I knew you could do it. Your grandpa had the guts to take on the challenge himself instead of giving it to the professional sculptor. What's this? I've always considered Stan's work to be unique, but now I'm reading more about how he put his emotions and talents into his work. There will never be a master model like Stan again. I think we should look for some of his other models, try to collect the most significant pieces he worked on. I might even have an idea of where to find the next one. How about I help you find them? It'd be like a treasure hunt. I'll contact you as soon as I learn something. All right, whatever. Level two. You've earned new experience and unlock new items in the shop. Dear modeler, I happen to be in need of your services. If you currently have free time, I'm sure we're squeezing the job. Want to get some of the premiere of our latest blockbuster and meet some celebrity or get a ticket to the front row of the game. You've got it. But here's the thing. It's my business partner's birthday and I, unlike him, have a lousy memory. So as quick as you can, using the tools to speed up the process, I need an assembled and painted submarine. It doesn't need to be fancy, just simple colours and some decals for detail. I tried to do that myself, but I barely managed to glue the bigger parts together and didn't even start the paint job. You're probably curious why a submarine. It's a metaphor, since Michael is a bit of a secretive person. <laughs> Please do it as AP. I wasn't kidding about the induction celebrity. All right. Submarine, available in two parts. Wait, can I just go to the shop a second? We've got chocolate chip. We've got that. I thought it said new stuff was available. Hide unavailable. Look at all this out of stock stuff. <laughs> kits. Can't click on kits. Mm. Indeed, Apple Stone mate, time flies. Job for a lawyer, here we go. 59 parts <gasps> on a scale of 1 to 350. It's going to be that big. 1 to 350. How long is a submarine? If a submarine was 350 meters long, then this would be one meter long. So it's not. It's probably about a half, which means a submarine's probably about 175 meters or something. It looks pretty small, though. Jeez, I get 59 parts into this thing? Okay, step one. Okay, we're done. <laughs> Finished. Looks like a submarine already. What's the name again? What, the submarine? I don't know.
Hmm. Looks like we're building one of the gun emplacements. We're going to have to paint all this in a minute. What's this bit? Why has that got green and then this bit's got red? Does that join with the original bit, do you think? Red means no glue. But it doesn't make us glue anyway. Oh, there's a lot of paint in here. Okay, page six and the submarine's assembled. That's a bit worrying, that is. <laughs> Very fat pigeon, thank you for 16 months. Doing okay. Okay, so what's this? Use the, bait count, the base count to apply paints on multiple parts in the corresponding area. So, is that basically saying put that on this bit, on the brown bit? Or is it saying this bit, like the bluey, greeny color? It's a bit unclear what it's saying. Silent Mountain, how are you doing? Base coat tool. Use this tool to apply a basic color scheme to the entire model. Okay. So we're doing the whole thing. So I just did the top deck, which is seems to be what it wants, right? Like it doesn't seem to want this bit. Uh, Jaffa, thank you for 67. Yeah, it is a bit weird. How did we just base coat the top deck? I don't know. Okay. Uh, use the paintbrush to apply air superiority blue in the corresponding area. The essential paint tool with a variety of sizes. Air superiority blue, I like it. Right, I can change the size of the brush. So I'm reading this as that it, it wants it on that upper blue ridge. really not clear because that's like it's the same color as what it already is what's going on join the blue to the front but that it just smudges over then Well, it just wants us to blend that bit into that. What a strange thing. Okay. Use the paint to bright air, so really, to blue. We've done that. 
H10. Yeah, that's... Okay, that was presumably just the other side. Weird. Right. This goes on the front section there. This is going up here. Is that up here, do you think? Looks like it. Wait, how do I rotate this? Oh, that's a different one. Is it as satisfying as it seems it should be? I think at the moment, you, it's kind of opening up the options slowly. Yeah? So it's kind of still locking a lot of stuff down at the moment. Right, what are we doing here? Is that the project finished? I think we're done. <laughs> Look at that setting. German submarine type 7C slash 41, apparently. Yeah, das boot. Collect. Give me some. Give me some dosh. What's this, dear model builders? I'm a filmmaker in Hollywood. I'm going to make the greatest post-apocalyptic steampunk movie ever. But to achieve that, I need your help. The key moment of the movie is a steampunk war crawler, with the main character in it having to sustain heavy enemy fire in a long shot. What I would like to propose is a little contest. Whoever makes the best steampunk post-apocalyptic vehicle will be chosen to assist me making props for the film. Isn't that great? Well, clock's ticking. Do we have to accept his job? Can't we do something else? Upgrades. What, what are we getting? Buy the sprue cutter upgrade. $50. Okay. Photo equipment background filter radial blur. Save that. Can we put the submarine anywhere? Or is it because it was a commissioned item? No, I can't even leave. Look at that. Lol. <laughs> 13 parts. War of the Worlds. Where's the sprue? Come on. There we go. I thought we bought an upgrade for this. Is that the same... Is that the same knife as we had before? Slate's on the left. Oh, there you go. Use the cutters to carefully remove parts. V 
What? I'm calling hacks. <laughs> so you spend $50 to be able to hold the mouse button and cut things out. Okay. Rubicon, thank you for one and a half years. Speedy, thanks for 52 months. Yeah, doing all right, Speedy. Thank you. Okay, what do you want? Let's get that. Underneath. Underneath that. That, that. Looks very nice. I like the copper look. Right, what's this? Oh, we're doing the highlights on these. Does it just want the... It's not really telling me what it wants highlighting. I'm presuming it wants all this stuff as well, but it's not really saying it. I mean, like... That's what it was waiting for. very nice I, I love that copper finish uh double e thanks for 10 months right here's a decal on these things They're only on top. There's one. I don't rotate the camera the right way. Mm -mm. I think that's all of them. What is it? It's like a, a steampunk. He's making a movie, a steampunk movie, and he wants like a War of the Worlds tripod type thingy. I'm just trying to work out where that goes. Is on that bit. It's on there. Seems to be. Uh, already done that.
Right. Something back here. Nice. Nice touch. Have you had any fun dreams lately, Paul? I can't say I can remember them. Um, what's this then? So the rubber black goes on that? Lead grey goes on this. What goes on the scope at the top? Oh, this. Oh, yeah. Oh well, well it looks my, like my gun's shooting now. <laughs> Bit confused about this though. Airbrush the lead grey. Let's see what, what effect are we going for here. I'm not really sure what effect we're going for. What's the idea of this? I don't get this. Just making it look a bit damaged or something? Like it's been shot at? Like what's, what's the idea of this? Are we just trying to cover it completely? In which case, why are we airbrushing it? I don't like this. Like, it doesn't give you any guidance. It just says, spray this on there. Not like, spray it on there and try to make it look like this. Just yeah, put, this, put that on there. Apply the airbrush dark. It just, just doesn't make any sense. It, it just it looks all rubbish now. It was looking really nice right at some of the point where it made me do that. And that's just a highlight. Which is fine. Like the whole model I could have done without all of that horrible stuff right there. Maybe it's meant to look weathered. I don't know. Without any guidance, I wasn't really sure what it was trying to get us to do. No, it just looks nasty. That's a real shame. It would have looked really good.
I would have thought it would have had us putting highlights on them railings. Is a game that I like to repaint a part you don't like? Maybe later? I'm not sure. Oh, you scumbag game. Let's go. Well, I don't know, Rod Wolf. If it was trying to get us to do a weathered look, it should have said, "Use this, uh, use this spray. Make it try to look, you know, try to make it look weathered." But I got the spray out, and as soon as I clicked one thing on it, it went, "Yeah, you're done." <laughs> There's just no guidance. Uh, Ryan Craig, thank you for three years. Uh, you didn't put the second rail before you placed it onto the model. You didn't paint the second rail. He never told me to. I don't think it did anyway. Where's the fourth one? Hmm. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the, I've just noticed the game has put a 2x there, but not really mentioned that fact that's interesting all right less than learned hmm same with this because when it got down here it suddenly i've spotted the 4x and i was like hang on a minute so yeah what you're supposed to do Is that, I believe, for each of them? Come on. That was a bit sneaky, that. Very subtle. I think he should have been a bit more explicit about that one. Which is how he ended up with a ladder not being painted. Okay, now it wants us to do four of these, so... It wants a bit of highlight here. Presumably there. And a bit down here. But bizarrely enough, it then moves the green bar completely full, even though there's another three of them to do. And I don't know which ones I've already done. not even look it's not even painted <laughs> that's not even painted gt max take me 10 months can i go back and paint it <coughs> it's 
Excuse me. Okay. Fixed. This is gonna be a, a mega blockbuster movie he's making. Uh, so have we done these or not? No. I think they're all done now, so... Three, four, I think they're done. Uh, large one, thank you for 57 months. Okay. Can I not redo that? That's just so bad. Can I just go straight into the painting tool and obliterate it? Airbrush, what have we got? Washing tool, dry brush tool, paintbrush tool. Go back to the turret page. I don't, yeah, but the, it's on. Like, it's on there, isn't it? Also, I kind of want to do that ladder. That one. How do I even do that one again? Because, like, it's on there now. How do I get it back off? Well, at least I can do that. Ha! Ha 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 ha! We can completely undo it by re washing it. Right, okay. So now, apply a lead brush. So if I turn the opacity right down on this. What can I do with it? I'll just do something like that with it. Just along the edge. Oh, that's not straight. Where's the undo key? Why can't I just say undo? This is not Hollywood worthy, is it? Need a steady hand. Yeah. I'm guessing it was more that luck that it was going for. Anyway, we fixed a few things. What are we doing?
page 23. Oh, that's just... So that, hang on, that's how it thinks it should look. So you can see the highlights that it was going for. Just like, it was just like, like highlights on the um, convex creases. That was the look it was going for. That looks all right. I think we'll get paid. <laughs> ah Wall crawler steep punk tank. I why it's got spherical feet. Unfortunately, we did choose someone else, but your model had that spark, so ready for more offers in the future. What? What? We didn't get first place? Is that because I did something wrong, or is that just what it's scripted to do anyway? What a scumbag. We got runner-up. Hollywood will hear about you. Yeah, well, next time he, he wants something doing urgent, 